I do apologize that this is going to be separated into two videos. I got, I just got this uh, phone. This has um, been new to me. So I'm going to try to focus here. And here we go. Here we have the uh, Dragonoid out of the packaging. Or as um, he's most known for Drago. There's a really nice sculpted detail. Um, we also have the uh, Magma Blaster powers. We're going to do some comparisons later, of course. But, this is Drago. I'm going to try to get some focus here. Now that's, that looks pretty sick. Yeah, these manual arms. Still has this large backpack. The tail, and I think these feet are manual. Give me a sec. Uh... Yes, these are. Of course, I hate manual parts. One thing I like about the uh, Bakugan Battle Planet, Bakugan, is that um these tend to lack manual parts. So here we go. We have Drago. I'm doing a 360 shot. What do you think? Um, sorry about the noise. It's really. It's 8, 8 p.m. right now in my house. And, um, so I just got this figure. And, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform him. And based on this, uh, figure, based on the body and the content, I think the transformation is very similar to the, um, original Dragonoid Ultra slash Hyper Dragonoid Ultra. So I'm gonna transform him right now on camera. This is my first time transforming him. Okay. You can see you fold the legs up right here. And then I'm guessing you want to put the head in. Yeah, the horns manual. Well the legs go down here. Oh there goes the head. Put the backpack in. Oh, we put. You know, I'm gonna put the uh, tail in first. It's so hard to do with this camera. Okay, that was a fluke, but I think I know how. You put the head in, then you put the, then you put the feet in like that, and then the uh, tail. Oh no! Wait, the the end of this tail goes in. Okay, now I know head. Feet, end of the tail, go in like so. Oops, there goes the feet in the little backpack. And hey, here we have Drago all transformed. Look at that beauty. Um, uh, now with the armored lines back on, you can have the Pyrus attribute. I'm calling them attributes. Screw you, that I'm a legacy brawler. Print it on the uh, background itself, which the um, Battle Planet background never had. Then you have the ports to put in the uh, Magma Blasters, which I'll show shortly after. And um, I'll try to give it a whirl. Oh, and, come, and um, as you can see, these are two background cores Drago comes with. A fist. And a shield. These are pretty good. Plus 200. And um, I'm guessing this means that once you land on it, the um, back gear will cost um, two less energy. That's what I presume anyway. So I'm going to roll it up. And we're going to find the arrow together. There's the arrow. Okay. One of the things I'm bad at, and this is why a lot of um, my team members went against me, is rolling. So... Hey, okay, pretty cool. Although I think it's a little weird that um, his horn isn't sticking out. Gives him like this um, Bob Marley vibe. This is Bob Marley. And um, the reason why he won't stand properly in like the um, regular Dragon and like the previous Dragonoid Ultra and Hyper Dragonoid Ultra is because I presume it's the feet that are manual, so they won't spring open. Like the um, they won't spring like 
the like the original Battle Planet release, and wow, now that's pretty fun. Kind of wish I got Trox instead because I could have compared him to the uh, Diamond Trox Ultra I've sealed up on the wall. So, uh, but this is pretty nice. Anyway, and he um. I think I'll show off the uh, Magma Gear, the Magma Blaster first, and then I'll show off the uh, card that it comes with. So, these are, it, um, you have to port these in on the uh, ports right here. Well, you have pegs. Ports. Okay, just line this up right here. I swear this is really hard because I'm doing this on camera. Okay. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. And then I'm going to put my magma gear. Find the arrow. You're going to put thing. Oh. Drago and magma blaster. That looks so sick. Kind of wish it lights up. But you can do like pew 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 pew. Oh, I'm pew 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 pew. That's this is really sick. Okay, back on topic. So um, each background ultra armor lines background ultra has two ports for the little pieces and then one big magnet on uh, part of the figure. Usually it's the part that's been risen up, like the Halcor. In Dragos case, it's this magnetic backpack that allows you to put the uh, big part. Next, we're gonna take a look at the uh, stuff it comes with. Oh, so first off, we have the Dragonoid Ultra card. Ooh, nine hundred B. Yep, and it only does two damage, but because it comes with um, the plus five damage Baku core. Um, it does come in. It does allow you to do a potential seven damage, which is pretty cool. And the thing is, sometimes you want to do one or two damage because your opponent might have a flip card, and you're just gonna end up wasting your ability cards um, because of the flip card. And when you do two damage, like. Let's say your opponent has a block aquas, block outside or something. I don't know what's the generic uh, aquas block card. So let's say it's block outsiders. You can use that, and it's um, dragon deals two damage, and your opponent has the energy cost to pay for it. And it mills the second card is the block aquas. They pretty much wasted that, so this is not bad. I'm gonna integrate this into my pirate Starkus. Chaos deck, which I'm playing along with the uh, Nilius. And then we have the ability card. And this is what I don't like about these um, Armor Alliance figures, okay? They come with completely random ability cards. Right here, Pyru Hammer. Yo, why can't um, they come with, regu with their corresponding ability cards? Like, right now, I have three Armor Alliance back gone. And I can only play with um, Milius because that was the only one that came with its respective um, Baku gear card. But I feel like I can proxy this. Um, I'll ask my friends if they're willing. Like I'll find, a, I'll print out an image of um, Magma Blaster, and I'll ask them if I can just proxy it and say this is Magma Blaster because this is fucking annoying. Anyways. Now I'm gonna do some comparisons. I'll be back in one second. So here we have Bakugan Armored Alliance Dragonoid Ultra next to the um, Battle Planet Regular Dragonoid Ultra. We have the Hyper Dragonoid Ultra, and then we have um, the Core Battle Planet Dragonoid. This is actually my favorite. Um, Ball design, if I'm not gonna lie, I don't know why, but I just really like um this chunky dragonoid. Um, I do have 
the original Dragonwood. I gotta find it. It's somewhere in my basement. I'll see if I can find it for a comparison. But anyway, as you can see, these three share approximately the same transformation. Well, this one and this one share the exact same transformation, except that this one has additional manual parts. Like the the wings and the arms, which are pain to bring out. And um honestly I thought these would be these would share the same body, but I'm completely wrong. People are saying this is a retool of um this is a retool of this one, but no. As you can see, first of all, the arms are, the feet, are, the legs are different. And you can see right here, there's, um, the bodies are different. Even the tails are different. This is separated into two pieces. This is just one, yep, right here. So, and if I got to pick one, well, if I if I gotta pick an ultra, let's say, mm, I'm leaning towards this one. Is like, this is a more sleeker design, but I wouldn't disregard um, this bad boy here either. So um, I'm gonna bring out some more comparisons. Just give me a sec. And here we have Helix Dragonoid and his battle gear Jet Core next to. The Battle um, Bakugan Armored Alliance Dragonoid Ultra. So the Baku gear was, um, well, they, it came as an inspiration from the battle gear you saw in, in Dalian Invaders and the uh, Baku Nano from Mectanium Surge. So this is actually the only Gundalian Pyrus Dragon, Gundalian Invaders. Pyrus Dragonoid actually own in my collection. I do have a Subterra Blitz Dragonoid, but unfortunately, um, I do not. Well, it's, first of all, it's Subterra, and second of all, for whatever reason, it looks nothing like um, its ball form in Gundale Invaders. Actually, the Battlex uh, Dragonoid that came with the Dragonoid Colossus, which I do have, but I bought it like. A bro as incomplete on eBay, and unfortunately, it did not come with Battle Dragonoid. That one has a more accurate um, Blitz Dragonoid ball form, but again, that one's Battle Dragonoid, not Blitz Dragonoid. So you can see, whoops. One thing I forgot to mention is that unlike um, the Baku gear you see here, there goes his arms, the Legacy back on the Gondelian Invaders back on They actually come with two plastic cylinders and the uh, battle gear they come with two Holes which you can just pour in there. Yeah, there's a magnet in the back, but I Guess it was easier It was um a lot better to just port them in uh, crap Can I get it? Okay, yep, there you go it was just easier to, um, this would have been easier to just let it stay there. Because, um, I can just easily shake this, move this around and it will, it could fall off, potentially fall off. This one, no, if I shake it to the side side, no, this one's a little oversized. But, um... The silver jet core was I, I believe it's um anime attribute. So I think Dan Kuso used the silver jet core in Gundalian Invaders. I haven't seen Armored Alliance yet, and I don't plan on watching Armored Alliance because honestly, I hate lightning. So here you go. And right, and you, this is a core Bakugan. Bakugan's Ultra, Bakugan Ultras weren't a thing in um, Gundil until the Battle Planet era. And this one has problems standing up. Come on, 
I got my Magma Blaster. When you, I got Jet Core. I remember one of um, Jet Core's abilities was Ability Activate! Jet Core Delta! Oh, this brings back lots of nostalgia. I, someone told me that this is the most common version of Drago you can... Someone can own. I kind of believe... I do believe them. Because I think I have three of these. If they ever introduce Baku vehicles or some kind of concept like that, then I'll do a comparison between one of the battle vehicles I own. And um, give me a sec, I'll do one more Dragonoid comparison, and then I'll do some Armored Alliance Bakugan comparison. So, here is the... Stand up. Yeah, this is a problem. Anyway, I have to hold it like this, but you kidding me? Uh, this is fucking annoying. Anyway, here's okay. I'm gonna try to get it. I'm gonna hold on to it because this won't stay. We we have the. This, we have the uh, Armored Alliance Dragonoid Ultra next to the Maxis uh, Dragonoid. This took me a while to complete. I actually got all the pieces except for the Dragonoid on eBay for like a really cheap deal. And then I finally got around to getting this when I found a lot that included this for like 25 bucks, I guess. So here you go. And the pieces that make him are as follow. Gracchus, Subterra Gracchus Hound. Darkest Dark Hound. <laughs> Chaos. Uh, Graphius. Aquas Brachium. It could be the other way around. Ventus Spitarm. Pyrus Spider Fencer. Um, I'm, I don't know if I'll get Dragonoid Maximus. If I'll do it, I'll compare this to the Maximus. But I just wanted to show these off real quick. Like flash my back on collection. And um, oh yeah. This is the uh, translucent back on. Back in my day. Um, Spin Master wasn't so greedy. And um, we could find. It was easier to find translucent back on. We also had the. The. Uh, was it vacuum mutations, which had partially clear plastic, um, just like the diamonds? But these weren't as hard to find, and these were not made into fucking limited editions that only people Spin Master promotes can get. Spin Master promote can get. Okay, sorry. So please, Spin Master, make these more available. Like I wouldn't mind getting. A translucent one of these like um this one honestly shout out to my um old high school friend T uh Tio he's the one who gave me this like this dragonoid thank you so much I really appreciate it bro I hope I get to see you again um I'll be back shortly so I did have the original uh dragonoid in my basement I think it was my friend Ryan who gave this to me. I'm really grateful, bro. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so here's a quick comparison between the um, Battle Planet Dragonoid and the Battle Brawler's original Dragonoid. You can see this one's way chunkier. This one's larger. And I know some people say this guy's like wearing a diaper or something. I don't agree with that. I think this was a cool design. Back in the day. I still like it, but I like Prius more. So anyway, gonna move these aside. Wait, if you guys want to do a 360. Oh, what's funny is that this one does not have a tail in ball form. It does have a tail in Bakugan form, but not in ball form. And I think the pirate symbol got scratched off or something. But this is an official Bakugan, like you can see the 380G. This one has a set 200B. And back in the day, the G power can vary between Bakugan, just saying. 
and I actually have another back battle gear. This is the um, battle sabers that I think my friend Lugo Mill gave me. I'm gonna try something. I think you can plug the um, back gear, battle gear, onto a back gun. Nope, doesn't want. Um, I guess they're two different um, pulls. Oh, you can see here. These um these are curved to fit the uh, back gun. Real. This is pretty awesome. Anyway, I'll be back. Anyway, so here we have um the Armor Alliance Dragonoid next to the only two other um, Armor Alliance back gun that I have in my collection. We have the Armor Alliance Nilius Ultra and the Armor Alliance Halcor Ultra. This is a uh, this has scorching swords. This has mech claws, but fortunately, Nilius is the only one who actually came with his actual with his um actual Baku gear card. Spin Master, either release Armor and Alliance packs or please prop give us the proper ability cards for these guys, because otherwise, they're the Baku gear are unplayable in the game. Unless you allow proxies, okay? That's the only way you'll be able, to, you'll uh, will be able, will ever be able to play these. And so this Halcore, like Halcore's design is really different as um, from the previous video. You guys might have noticed that the heads are a lot smaller, and the tail is risen up, whereas, um, well, the tail is bigger, whereas in the original version, it was the other way around. Halcor's heads were bigger, and the tail was a lot smaller. Nilius kind of looks like Darak. I don't really hate it, per se, but I do prefer the original sleeker Nilius. So, I did find um, my Infinity Helios so was nearby, and um, it, this one is... Uh, well, Darkest Infinity Helios is the um, canon attribute in Mectanium Surge. It was Pyrus, Neo, Helios, MK2, but when he evolved, he also had to change attributes. And I'm going to give him a Cross Striker. Oh, shit. Fuck. What the hell? And let me just transform him. Put him. Baku Nano destroy striker. Damn. Okay, so Baku here is a combination of Baku Nano with the pouring system and the battle gear with the magnet system. So you Helios, and you can put as many Baku Nano as you want, um, depending on the n number of uh, Baku Nano holes this your Baku Gon have. Let's go with this one because this is also a G changer. Right here, you can just change the G of the Baku Gon before going to battle. I'm gonna try change it right here. Okay, my fingers on the dot. Okay, it's changing. That's a three D. Six eighty, like this goes high, as high as five. A six eighty. Um, if you guys want a G power comparison, I don't know. Where the well, sorry, attribute comparison. This is the uh, darkest attribute comparison. I don't know if you can see it. These symbols were a lot different. And finally, this is a team legacy video, so obviously, we're gonna have to compare these bad boys to this bad boy to our mascot. 
Here we have, last but not least, come on, focus. This boy refuses to open. Ah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfecto. Screw off, Millius. So here we have the Armored Alliance Dragonoid next to Team Legacy's mascot, Darkest, and Subterra. Praise Diablo. Subterra Cordum, my one of my favorite Bakugan to come out of Gundalian Invaders. Not just in terms of design, but also in the anime. Then we have Aquas Praise and Ventus Praise. Can never go wrong with these. Spin Master. If you're listening, do not mechanize, mechanize the Preuses. You've already fucked up Drago and Hydranoid. And Cycloid, for that matter. Speaking of which, I did see leaked images of Cycloid and Armored Alliance. And I want to compare them to this Pyrus Cycloid I have. Obviously, um, Cycloid's at original attribute was Subterra, but... Because they removed Soteria in favor of Aurelis. Cyclone adds gain a new attribute. And it's Pyrus, I guess, because it's based on the Cyclops from Greek mythology. Known for working in the forges. I got this at Chinatown. And if I do find a Cycloid, I will do a comparison. I'll do a mini comparison between these two. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, sorry if it's being split into two awkward parts. This is a new phone that I'm not familiar with. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you.